Hello there, and welcome to a new poem. Quite different from the poems we've been reading together. Um, the title, Crunch Crunch, one word, Crunch Crunch. So there. Um, I, I, I said it is different uh, in that uh, it is, I think, fundamentally, it's mostly descriptive um, and it uh, uh, perhaps personal a little bit, you know. Uh, well, it wasn't personal when I wrote it, but now I see things, well, whatever, I don't want to, to say too much. It's too easy a poem <coughs> to describe. So let not the description obscure or overwhelm the fact, the reality. Here is the poem. Crunch, crunch. The teeth are all missing, most of them, along with much else, leaving a saddened mouth bigger than itself. And yet, as if still a dream, the sound of a crunching ice comes out of a tiny mouth. It feels kind of odd. A cold haze renders the sky inarticulate. The pond nearby lies between freeze and thaw where the fishes think it is still night and she is sitting out among warnings which make the morning sun shrink or huddle to itself. It makes the present hour look larger than itself, like a coat whose occupier has gone missing. About her <clears throat> rises an uneasy scarcity of mouse and rabbit and other such helpless mammals. And she is deep in a mess of autumnal feelings when suddenly the head pops up, up with a jolt and a twist. Like the teeth, the eyes fail her, but the ears flick and flutter large to the luxuriant crunch crunch coming from the branches nearby. Crunch of what must be a starving coyote reduced to breakfasting on fresh apples. Um, the, the irony, I think, is very clear, perhaps too clear, but that's what it is sometimes, you know. I hope you like the poem. And um, what else? There's nothing else to say, believe me. As I said, it's a very simple poem. So, good luck, and I hope you enjoy it. And looking forward to seeing you, seeing you next time. Bye now.